All right, we're back down here near the Beaver Creek watershed to check out some more abandoned wheels. This here is wheel number 10. And it's pretty big here. This is a pretty big one. Yeah, oh, fucking bees. Okay, uh, pardon that. So if I'm out of bees down there, one of them scared me. Okay, so over here, we got the, uh, of course, the low head dam portion. Over here, and not sure what this was for, but might have held modern equipment at one point. It probably would have been a catwalk across, like in wheel three, but there's none here. Got more openings, Got some water down there. Pretty big spillway channel, as you can see, it's quite large. Of course, no equipment shack either, that's been, it's gone, sadly. But we can see what's, at least, we're gonna still see what's over here. So this would have been a, that hole over there, of course, would have been where the engaging equipment would have been. Let's go check that out. There's this depression in the concrete. Not sure if that held something or if that's just uh, erosion. Destroying the old wheel. Okay, so here's the uh, area. There was access inside. I don't want to crawl down there though. As they're usually all the same. But see, fair amount of equipment under there. And just down here. And this usually a possibility of snakes, and I don't want to deal with snakes right now. But yeah, you can see it goes in pretty deep down there. There are all these pipes. Oh, so that's what those are for. So those pipes, those pipes down there, if you see them, they connect to these holes over here, which would measure the water as it passed over the spillway. So that, this, is, this is wheel 10. All right, this here is wheel number four. And just judging by the looks of it, I'll drive in and it looks to be significantly older than the one I just visited. And it looks like this one, from my maps, it drains into a Rorick Canyon. So here's where the old um, uh, gauging station room would have been. Of course, it's all the equipment's gone for some reason. Just peek down in here. Ah. Looking here, yep, just just the standard three pipes that are, go to the gauging station and pop out down there. Oh, ooh, this wall is not stable. I leaned on it and started to try and fall on me. All right, let's check out. So this one's called Crane, apparently. Though, my, though um, when I look, um, what I've seen, this one's also known as wheel number four. So. Got the spillway here. Got the just normal rocks and concrete. It's definitely been abandoned a while. There's a tree growing out of it. The three boards laying around and some other concrete bits. So yeah, probably looked to be um probably was deeper here, but See, it used to be concrete, but soil, wind, rain, and other stuff has moved the soil into the into the spillway. Still so see the old walls on this side. I have a lizard. Here we have the uh, spillway, the dam area. See here, we still got the standard three pipes, and this area, I'm still not sure what this area was, 
or is we do have mounts here for the uh, catwalk that would have would have been across here let's see, what, let's see what's in this thing so just an empty box probably had a probably held equipment at one time but not doing anything now wall there's a fence to keep cattle out it's not working the cattle are in here and here's the uh the stone and mortar area pretty cool so there's a pipe here on this side which makes me think there also would have been water in here that would have flowed out Got some pipes here Oh, another cool wheeler. One of, the, one of these are open. No, oh, scared me, lizard. Uh, yeah, I don't think these are. I don't think these are gonna open. Yeah. Okay. Cool area. So we're at wheeler number nine right now, and. I think this one looks to be, this one actually looks to be active compared to the other ones I visited. Let's see here, probably the United States. Oh, person. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, actually the road to this one is blocked about a half a mile back at wheel eight. So this one does seem to be still active as you got um get the gauge and the station equipment in here. Yeah, well, that gate's mostly gone. And you got the uh, spool, and that's it. But it is, it is connected to a solar panel, so I'm assuming it is still active at this point. The spillway for this one is actually quite long, going pretty far around the bend. Here we got the, I uh, would enter through here and it goes all the way down here. I'm not sure where this, where this feeds, what, what area this feeds back into. So there's the, uh, there's the dam section all the way over here. And we do have an access road here to enter the um, spillway area. Control house over there. The walls are actually quite high on this in this area. These are like I'd say seven foot high walls. They're just taller than me. We got a really large spillway gate area here. Still got the normal three pipes and these uh, have to be open because it's the fourth one though that's buried under the silt but these pipes are still open though it seems the bottom of the uh spillway area has collapsed on itself we got another area over here probably would have probably been equipment here like we've seen in the other ones so you got some old stairs some concrete still there. Probably would have been some equipment tied down areas there. I think that's uh it's probably the sluice gate it looks like it. Like on a uh, wheel three I visited there was a catwalk here and a gate that would let water down. I'm assuming that's part of that. Let's see what we got down here. Not to what it would have been here, it's kind of collapsing on itself. A lot of flies around here too. Yeah, that water looks a bit moldy. Do these pipes, just go to the other side of course. Okay, well, yeah, not, I mean, pretty big spillway here, so definitely a cool area. I'm not sure if it's still active, 
active or not though but i mean it looks to be active i know the beaver creek watershed area does have a few wheels that are still active i do like this old i do like this old stone work though it's pretty cool and the old stone steps okay well let's check out wheel eight now which is back down the road all right so this here is wheel number eight of course there's no equipment left that seems to be a common occurrence, except for wheel nine that we just visited. There's a ladder down here. And of course, more pipes. I'm not gonna call it down to this one. They're all the same, pretty much. But here's a look at the few pipes. And the hall, which is apparently being used as a trash can currently. So over here, just got the wheel, got the three holes for the gauge of equipment. It would have been, don't let you fly. Got the, uh, looks like it goes farther up. That'd be, that'd be a cool place to hike up one time. Not today though. Not sure what would have been, would have been in this square. Kind of peek under the dam. Some bird had a bad day. So, put the wash here. And if you can see the boulders, that's where they blocked the road off. So you can't get past it. I mean, foot and horse travel is permitted, but no vehicles for some reason. I guess they don't want people going down to a uh, wheel nine. A pretty big tunnel here for the water to go through. I wonder if they closed it off because they don't want people to collapse this tunnel. Looks pretty sturdy though, but who am I to know? So, not much of this one, but cool little area at least. 